So this is one of the projects I'm going to be taking up uh, here really soon. I uh, found this over at Hobby Lobby. And as you can see by the tag, uh, it was substantially marked down. But the reason for that is it's got a big hole in it here. And one of the hooves is missing. Where are we at with Build the Buffalo? Well, as you can see, he's got a pin in his leg. And he's got a hoof starting to take shape over here. Lots and lots of work going into making that hoof. <laughs> Bet you wasn't expecting that, were you? Anyway, doing a little work on Build the Buffalo and wanted to kind of let you guys see a little bit of the actions. Enjoy. So what I'm using here is, these are called jeweler's files, and I have one that's got a flat side on it, and it's got a rounded side on the opposite, and then I've got another one that's rounded on both sides, or kind of curved, and then I've got this completely round file. Not, not round file like you'd throw things in the trash round file, but, you know, the actual shape of the file, so. I'm trying to slowly, carefully get this file down to the final shape that I'm looking for, and uh, it's actually starting to come together pretty well. A lot, of, uh, a lot of test fitting, see how it's going to look, but uh, as you can see from that right there, the, uh, the hoof is really starting to, uh, to look like a hoof now, and uh, it's, it's almost the right size, uh, I still need to kind of file it down some more and uh, you know do some more detailing on it, but it's getting there, it's a slow process, so uh, trying to hold on to this, this little chunk of plastic while I'm doing this isn't the easiest thing, I uh, kind of get you know, little finger cramps and stuff. But it's just part of the process. And of course all of these all of these filings. Um makes a little bit of a mess, but uh, you know what? That's what we got a vacuum cleaner for. So And when I fill the hole on the shoulder, I might even take some of these filings and kind of sprinkle it on top of the uh, that spray foam that I'm gonna be using to give it a little bit of texture so it'll match the rest of the buffalo a little bit. So anyway, just just an idea that I might try and see how it goes, but uh yeah, I'm definitely thinking about keeping these filings. Uh, see if I can repurpose them a little bit. I mean, it's already been repurposed once. If you remember back in one of my earlier videos, I told you that uh, these are cut up Amazon cards. They're basically glued together. You can kind of see the different layers right here. Um, the rest of it's been filed off. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the layers of the cards where I glued them together and just clamped them and let the glue dry. So yeah, so, so this, this has been repurposed once already. Um, so see if maybe I can repurpose it a second time and use the, uh, the filings for something as well. Now one of the hazards of using a file like this is that tip right there, that thing's quite sharp. And uh, when you're trying to hold onto this and you're filing back and forth, I've already poked myself several times with it. And that didn't feel good, but I don't know, hazard of the job, I suppose. I've got some 180 grit sandpaper here, um, sticky on one side. And uh, I like that because it'll kind of stick to my finger. And I can use that to move out the rough edges here. Now we got this statue for 90% off original price. We got it for $1.89 and my wife just fell in love with it when she saw it even though it had all that damage on it and I told her that I thought I could fix it. So that is what I have done. To repair the damage on the actual leg above the hoof area, I used a white putty, a white plastic putty. Um, it's used for filling seams on models. And I filled in the voids with the white putty. And while it was still somewhat malleable, I went ahead and kind of put the the texture into it to, to simulate the the fur on on his leg and I let that dry overnight and I come back and it actually looked really good 
Um, I had to do a little bit of filing and sanding on it to get the shape that I was looking for. But I think that it turned out incredible, especially once I got it painted. Now I'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's move up here to the shoulder. You see the hole on the computer screen back there. You can kind of make out where that hole was as he kind of turns around. You see a little bit of an indention. Um, and I thought about filing those edges down a little bit. But again, uh, it, it looks really good. And I didn't think that anybody was really gonna notice unless you pointed out to them. So, what did I do there? Now, I had talked in the video about using a spray foam. I did not use spray foam. I actually took a paper towel, and it was a half sheet of paper towel, and I rolled it and into a roll, uh, basically um, the half sheet long ways. And, and, and I rolled it up and folded it in half, and uh, worked it down inside the hole, uh, carefully pushing it in and uh, being careful not to break off any more of, uh, of the edges there. It wasn't a perfectly round hole as you can see uh, in, in the, uh, the previous video. But uh, so I worked the paper towel down inside of his shoulder and then once I got it where I wanted it, uh, not completely pushed inside but close, I took some super glue and I super glued the paper towel to the edges where it was broken. And I let that sit for a couple of minutes and then I came back with a razor knife and I just kind of shaved the paper towel uh, down to uh, where it was even with, with the hole that, that was uh, punched in his shoulder. And what that did for me was the paper towel actually kind of spread out just a little bit as it filled in that hole and it helped give me that texture that I was looking for um, so that I could match uh, what was going on in, in the, the surrounding area there on his shoulder. Um, so the paper towel actually did, did a really good job of uh, making this a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So uh, again I took some super glue and put it on what was left of the paper towel and if you remember from my video that I shot of uh, filing the hoof down, I took the filings from, from the hoof and I sprinkled them over the top of the wet super glue. And it kind of, there, there was a couple of deeper voids in, in the paper towel where it had spread out. And those filings filled in those, those deeper voids and uh, kind of helped uh, give it a little bit more strength, I think. Um, I mean, heck, that, that shoulder up there is probably the strongest part of this thing now. Well, except for the metal rod in his foot. But, uh, did that. I used the pick ends of my file to kind of uh, get some texture on it. Make what looks kind of like hair. And then I painted it all flat black. I had a big old flat black, uh... I don't know, half half this side of the buffalo was flat black. Let that dry overnight, and I come back, and to match the colors, I started with an olive drab. Uh, these are all testers uh, enamels that I used. Um, I started with an olive drab flat, and I mixed in, well I took three drops of olive drab flat, and I mixed in one drop of rust. Uh, that's an actual color uh, that testers makes. So I mix those two together and I brush them over the flat black that was already there and it, it gave the depth that I was looking for underneath the texture there and it gave a, a really nice color. It matched up really good to the, uh, the overall color of, of the buffalo. Now I did have to spread it out just a little bit to kind of blend it into the surrounding area on the hoof and I actually went to the hoof on the opposite side and put a little bit of color on there too so the two would kind of match. Now up here on his shoulder 
what I did with that was I took desert tan, sand, and some yellow, and I mixed them together. And that was a little bit too bright, so I tried to tone it down a little bit. Again, I took a drop of rust, and I put that into the mix. I think I might have added a second drop to it. I don't remember exactly. And, and then I added some thinner to it. And I wanted the thinner because I did not want this color to go all the way down uh, inside the, the texture, inside the grooves, and, and hide what I had already done. So I got some paint on the brush and uh, kind of wiped it off a little bit, made it like a dry brush, and just went over the top and uh, hit all the high areas with the uh, the golden yellow color and again it wasn't a perfect match but it was close and so I blended it into the surrounding area uh, again using that same dry brush technique just hitting some of the high spots but it blends in really well and so for a dollar eighty nine uh, the cost of a bottle of super glue uh, half a sheet of paper towel and a little bit of my time well and, and a couple of paints this is what we ended up with my wife loves it oh and by the way I did take some future floor acrylic and I painted his hooves so yeah we painted his toenails uh, more or less but I also used the future and painted his horns and his nose and it gives a real nice contrast with the surrounding being flat and it makes his nose look like it's moist he looks healthy and so we have a happy healthy buffalo what I want to do is I want to hold a contest you guys have a chance to name the buffalo. As usual, pay attention to the details. Alright, thanks. Y'all take care. See you again soon.